Knoll came knocking on my door one day and uh, asked me if I would be interested in collaborating. And uh, I said, uh, you had me at hello. Well, you can't uh, deny the history of, of a company like Knoll and uh, you know, to be uh, able to work for a company that has the history that it does and promoting good design and working with uh, very important people in the field of design uh, obviously uh, influences the way you think. You know, to know that you're part of a lineage that embraces people like Izumo Noguchi and so on, that really, I don't want to sound too sort of nostalgic about that, but that's, that's a great thing. And when you look back at that, it allows you to go forward. Modernism, first and foremost, is the, what the foundation of the company is. But I think that the current state of technology changes the idea of modern. The fact is, is that something that was modern in 1940, is it still modern today? And something that we're working on today that's a modern idea, will it be modern in the future? But it's not an end, it's an opening. Uh, for example, I see Frank Gehry as a modern architect in, in the best way because he's inventing all the time. Essentially, people look very good in an all space because it's not cluttered, it's not chaotic, it's not over-designed, it's minimal, it's, it's supportive of work in a, in a kind of elegant, understated way. Today, increasingly, we are concerned about our environment, about nature, and so as designers, as artists, I think we have a responsibility to address these issues through our work. It's very difficult for a designer today to just go out and design something and not consider what's going to happen to this design over time. Uh, can it be recycled or can it be used? Uh, can it be repaired? It matters what glue you use. It matters that you maintain recycled content. For me, sustainability isn't just a buzzword, it's integrated into the entire design process. Uh, timeless, classic design is, in and of itself, sustainable. Research becomes much more important to the design process today. Knoll doesn't necessarily go into designing machines. They actually understand that there's humans involved. It's not only about being a beautiful object anymore. It's also about an object that deals with the way in which we work. There are very few companies uh, in the world of uh, furniture design who really believe in the design process and are willing to give the designer uh, the latitude to develop new and innovative ideas. Mises' idea of God as being in the details and so forth is, can be applied to anything. I mean, how things go together is important. So that you sit in a four and a half hour meeting and you talk about a detail that's this big and the way in which maybe an electrical cable will come through. There aren't many companies up at that level who in a way are keeping that, that quality. Design is not a commodity. It's actually a deep part of the Knoll culture. And they understand that that's where the company came from. And that's something that carries through from systems to textiles, to leather, to the individual studio products. Without that, without that essence, it's not an old product, and that's what makes it so wonderful.